Welcome back interior Alaska. Joe Cook here with your local Tuesday sports. We start with the player profile piece in today's Nanak Corner. He's making history just by playing college basketball. Here's more on UAF's Ruben Silvis. Uh, Ruben's class act guy, one of the best teammates that we have. He's always looking out for other guys, trying to help them out, especially the younger guys. First year transfer guard Ruben Silvis is also an historic figure back home in Tucson, Arizona. Silvis is the first person of the Basquayaki tribe to play college basketball. He wasn't even being recruited, but he stood out to Alaska head coach Mick Durham while playing for Tohono Autumn Community College. We were up in Seattle and he was watching my teammate play. So, and I had a good game that night, so he got my number from my JUCO coach. And that night he texts me. He's like, I'm from UAF, University of Alaska, Fairbanks. I was like, what? Somebody's recruited me? I just got happy and it's like, all your hard work paid off. You know, when the ceremony, when they did the signing and they did it on the reservation there outside Tucson, Arizona, it was a huge deal. And so I think that moment I realized, hey, this is a pretty special. And, and then also for Ruben to be the first in his family to go to college, those type things. So it's cool to give kids opportunities that they may, may have not been able to afford to, to do. And Silvis has been embraced by the local Native community, but he admits feeling pressure to not only represent his own tribe, but Native Americans from all over the country. I had um, a couple Native members come up here and they're like, we're from New Mexico, but we stay up here, we came to watch you play and make us proud. You're doing good for that Native culture. And I was like, thank you. Like, it's a big honor. There's a lot of pressure coming from the tribe and everybody who supported me, but at the end of the day, you just got to play basketball and that's how I look at it. Silvis has established himself as one of the GNAC's best in a short period of time. He's fourth in the conference, shooting 60% from the field, and third in free throw shooting at 86%. He also leads the Nooks in rebounding 5.7 per game, which is 10th in the GNAC. His best game was a 34.11 rebound, 5 assist performance in a win against Simon Frazier. With those stats, he's making his family and tribe proud. Look for more from Silvis in the future. Nanook Corner, brought to you by Sports Medicine Fairbanks. In Cable, Wisconsin, Nanook skiers were no less than top 30 finishers in the Telemark Chase Distance Race Series on Sunday. Logan Hahnemann placed six in the 15K in about 43 minutes to lead the Nanook men's team. Jonas Loeffler was eighth, and Alexander Eckert finished 10th. On the women's side, senior Allison McFeeders leads the Nooks. She finished in 12th place at 36 minutes in the 10K race, while newcomer Ann Tyne Marksett was 15th. Nicole Bates, the sophomore, finished 22nd. UAF skiers will have a break before the CCSA Championships on Valentine's Day weekend in February. For more Nanak skiers and other local talent, they were top five finishers in this past weekend's Best Cup. Lydia Blanchett and Taryn Hunt-Smith of APU, they finished 1-2 in Sunday's classic Mass Start 5K. They flip-flopped in Saturday sprints at Birch Hill. The UAS Hannah Stevens, she placed fourth. And for the men, Mike Fahrenbach won the 10K race for the Alaska Nanooks. Hunter Wanders was second, and West Valley's Trenton Sayer takes third place. There was more high school basketball going on this past weekend. Other than the Joe T Classic, the Hutchinson Hawks and Delta Junction Huskies met in a Royal Conference clash on Saturday. Considered one of the better conference rivalries, Delta denied Hutch a trip to state last year. Two of their last regular season meetings came on buzzer beaters. This game was close throughout. Delta's Micah Helkin, he scored a game high 27 points, including 16 in the fourth. He was coming off a 35 point game against Allison. The Huskies, though, they would force overtime, but the Hawks used an, eight, used an 11 to 3 run to pull away in overtime. Morgan John had 15 points for Hutch, and Daniel Page added 14 as the Hawks win 70 to 62 in overtime over the Huskies. And in the girls' game, Hutchinson, they win by 50 points, defeating the Huskies 61 to 11. Katie Peterson scores a game high 22 points. That's back to back conference wins for Hutch, who beat Valdez 39-36 on Friday night. And here are some high school hockey results from over the weekend. Hutchison, they shut down Houston 8 to nothing on Saturday in a rematch of last year's state title game, holding McCullough. Four goals for Hutch and Max Heineken. He had 29 saves in the win. The West Valley Wolfpack blow out Juno 13-1 on Saturday. Senior night game for the Wolfpack. Stasha Skorowski had a hat trick to lead eight different goal scorers for West Valley. Delta Junction, they remain undefeated in Greatland play, sweeping the Tri-Valley Kings 9-1 on Friday and 5-1 on Saturday. The Huskies are 6-0. Also in the Greatland, Monroe wins big 8-0 over the Glen Allen Panthers. Ryan Michelle led the Rams with two goals and three assists. Nate Jankowski made 20 saves for the shutout. And that'll do it for sports tonight. Mike Schultz is next with your full weather forecast, and we'll catch you next time.